Hi, I'm Dave Rossum. I'm the uh, chief wizard of Rossum Electro Music, and I'm here with Analog Zone to tell you about our new products that we're just introducing. The first product that we're coming out with, and this is in production now, will be available in the, uh, the end of January in your stores. It's called Evolution, and it's a uh, classic ladder filter, the one that was invented back by Bob Moog in the 60s. It contains improvements that I've made over my history as an engineer, uh, some dating back to as far as 1973. And just in the past uh, few months, I've come up with other improvements on this. Evolution is a low-pass filter. You can control its frequency. You have control both voltage and with the control of the resonance that it has. And because the resonance in the ladder filter affects how the uh, lower frequencies come out, you have a Q compensation control. That lets you adjust the ratio of the lower bass part of the sound to that resonant peak. The really exciting thing about Evolution is this knob right here. We call it Genus, and it controls the number of poles in the ladder. That means how steeply it cuts off, but also where the resonant peak is and how high it is. By voltage modulating this, you get sounds out of the ladder filter that have never been heard before. I loved the sound when we prototyped it. I think it's come out very well. The other really interesting control on evolution is the species control. This is a, essentially a distortion control, but it, the lower range, it's very subtle. It allows you to really tweak in the exact sound, the amount of uh, the ladder uh, fatness that you want in your low pass sound. As you get higher, it then becomes a more gross control of distortion, giving you some really interesting effects. When species is at its minimum and you set the thing to four poles, this is your classic ladder filter sound. As you play with it, it you can get a huge variation of different filters, and they're all exceedingly clean and yet really, really flexible. We're very proud of the module, and uh, it's now, it's, like I said, it's going to be available in a couple of weeks. It's in production now. Moving on to the next things we're doing, um, both of our new modules, and these are in prototype form here at the show, are inspired by the Emu Morpheus um, module that was introduced back in 1993. The two products, Morpheus, the filter, and Control Forge, the function generator, are different pieces of that module. I'll begin by telling you about Control Forge. Control Forge is a universal control voltage generator. It can be used as an uh, envelope generator, as a LFO or as a sequencer. It has eight segments across it. When you trigger it, it steps from one segment up to a next, and then it can repeatedly go back or it can continue on to additional ones. Here we just have three segments there. If we switch to a different, um, here we have an LFO, and it was switching between the first two segments now as Either by control voltage or by knob, you can change the decision at that point. It's now going through um, a bunch of different steps here. You can see by the drawing here that there are different curves. There's a whole library of curves that each segment can have, from simple exponential type curves to jagged things to ones that are chaotic in nature. And these are all programmable on a segment by segment basis. It's a lot of fun to play with, makes really interesting control parameters, and the flexibility is just outrageous. Finally, and this is something I know everybody is really interested in, the well-known Mor Morpheus Z-Plane filter is being reintroduced in this module. Unlike the Morpheus module, this Z-Plane filter, which controls the filtering from a cube of filters, eight different filters at the vertex, and you can voltage control anywhere within that space, dynamically among all these 14th order filters. The module um, uh, has stereo in, stereo out, and uh, um, will have the entire library of, I think it's 246 different Morpheus filter sets within it. Both of the Control Forge and the Morpheus um, are due to be released in the spring, and we expect to be volume in production by the end of the spring. So look forward to seeing those. We don't have exact pricing on them, but we expect them to be as affordable as Evolution. Thanks a lot for visiting our booth.
and uh, we'll hope to hear from you soon.